Hello, Canisius. My name is Sean Ryan, and I'm your host for today. This is the fourth installment of Crusader Nation for the third week of October. The Canisius Varsity Volleyball team remains undefeated after two games over the past few days. First was a thrilling five-game victory against McQuaid last Friday night. The scores were 25-18, 25-13, 25-17, 25-19, and 25-21. Junior right side Griffin Schmidt had 35 kills, and senior setter Charlie Desmond had 54 assists. Then the Crusaders swept another league game against St. Mary's. The St. Mary's matches finished at 25-14, 25-19, and 25-21. The team ran a balanced offensive attack and played solid defensively. Senior night will be Wednesday, the 28th, against St. Francis. The semifinals will be on November 3rd at Canisius, and the finals will be on the 6th at O'Hara. We hope to see you there. The Canisius Speech and Debate team tied for third place in team sweepstakes against stiff competition at Saturday's Harley School Tournament. Kudos to the JV Public Forum Debate team of Haj de Hamne and Williams, who took third place in their first ever tournament. Congratulations to James Lyons, who took first in JV Lincoln Douglas debate and earned a half qualifier for states. Thomas Waz landed a second place in a crowded field of varsity X tempers to win a half qualifier for states as well. I took first in competitive dramatic interpretation category to land a half qualifier for states. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> This year's walkathon was a successful one, even though the school didn't reach its goal. The school had 568 students reaching their goal and 682 bringing in a donation. The top earning advisements were 1H with 131%, 2M with 357%, and 3G with 115%, and 4B with 189%. The freshman class won the class dress down day, reaching 95% of their goal. The top three earners were Jacob Knapp, winning the $1,000 cash prize, and Gulati won the $500 cash prize, and Matthew Sh Shanslin won the, oh, winning the $250 cash prize. The top earning seniors won a parking pass in the faculty lot, and they were Amit Gulati, Matthew Sh Shanslin, and Kurt Villani. Matthew Schmidt won Sabres tickets, and Andrew Najirili won Bills tickets. Trevor Trembley won a limousine to any dance of his choosing. Congratulations to all the winners. Before the walk began, the students and the faculty gathered in the auditorium for mass. Then began the walk. After the walk ended, the students and staff gathered in the gym for a series of events. First was tug of war, which had the juniors victorious against the student body, but losing to the teachers. Next was the dodgeball, which had seniors victorious against the student body and pulling an upset against the teachers. The relay was a tight race that was eventually won by the seniors when Sam Hoare took the reins and ate two hot dogs in a short amount of time. The seniors won the day and get to dress down on Fridays for the rest of the month of October. It was a successful day in Canisius High School history and, did, and it did a lot of good for the remodeling of this library. Welcome back to Crusader Nation Football. I'm Nate Massolino. We're running a week behind as we missed the initial coverage for the St. Joe's rivalry game. A great spirit week and a fun pep rally led to a good showing from the Blue Crew at the game and that eventually led to a 35-9 victory for Canisius. The defense led the charge as six sacks from Timothy Pringle, Mason Hoos, and Richie Roberson led the way. The following weekend, they played against Aquinas, who was ranked third in the state at the time, and suffered a loss, which ended their 22-game win streak. However, this weekend, they look forward to a key divisional matchup against Tymon, who's ranked second in the Monsignor Martin Athletic Association. Thanks for joining us. Back to you, Sean. And now we'll hear from senior Alex Ulrich with some exciting cross-country news. Thanks, Sean. The Canisius cross-country team headed to Alden High School at the Bulldog Stampede Invite last weekend. The varsity team came in fifth in a field of tough competition and had great performances across the field. The JV came in first overall with Matt Granto winning the race and Brendan Wanger not far behind in fifth, followed by J.P. Kenny at ninth, Toronto Rados at tenth, and Alex Conomy at 37th. Congrats to the whole team on their successful invite season. The team had a tough loss to Joe's this Wednesday and finished second for the league. Their next race is at All Catholics on Sunday, November 1st at 9, 9 a.m. They plan on getting redemption for the race on Wednesday. Back to you, Sean. 
The Father-Son Communion Mass and Breakfast will be held on Sunday, November 15th. Mass begins at 8.30 a.m. at St. Michael's Church, and breakfast will follow at the Convention Center. Students are encouraged to come and spend a special morning with their dads or another man in their life. Invitations have been mailed home. Please make sure your reservations are in by Saturday, November 7th. That's all for today, Canisius. Hope to see you back here next week. Keep on being men and women for others.